Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Ice Lakes. And we're going to check out another one of the new maps that recently came out. And this particular map is going to be the Emperor's, uh, I think it's em Emperor's Garden. Emperor's Garden. And what we're going to be primarily fishing for is going to be anything we can catch with the balance lures because that's what we've been doing recently when we've been checking out these new maps now the Emperor's Gardens a not a huge lake but decent sized but what's cool about it guys is that it's all decorated like a uh, Japanese style with all kinds of Japanese bridges and structures and things like that and another thing that's really cool about it is that it is teeming literally teeming with both bluegill and carp. Now there's other species supposedly in here but those are primarily the ones that you're going to catch. The Crucian carp and the black, well the black bullheads I have not seen yet but bluegill, lots of them. And since we're going for the most weight with the balanced lures shouldn't be a problem. As you can see I caught a Crucian carp at almost 2.5 2 pounds so that was in a previous game. Now we're going to go to morning here and we're going to stick with winter, but I think, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and stick with 15 minutes, keep this kind of short. And we'll see if we can't beat these guys, all right? And see how pretty the scenery is here? It's really nice. All right, let's head on out here. Now, if you want to catch the carp, you've got to get... To one of the deep spots here guys so let me make sure that I'm in it here all right and we're going to go ahead and drill it in these guys like to go deep now you're going to pick I'll wait until I'm done Now you're going to pick up the bluegill just about everywhere, guys. These, I mean, this place is literally crazy with bluegill. And I'm going to go ahead and put in this golden lure. And then we're going to go as deep as we can. And see if we can get us some either... Whoop, I hit the wrong button. I hate when I do that. Hate, hate it, hate it. Alright, they just got to load up on me, guys. All right, we need to get busy. We need to get real busy catching us some bluegill. Now, I've tried a few times in this particular lake to see if I can't get any of the black bullhead, and I've been fishing in the deep spots and using the techniques to stir up the bottom to try to get them all excited, but I'm even using the lure that's specific for them, but I haven't been catching them, guys. I don't know what the deal is. So, either I'm doing something wrong, or I there's something wrong with the actual game itself. I don't know. I'm hoping that it's just I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> But we are get there we go. We get plenty of bluegill here though, guys. Now there's your crucian carp. Now the reason I'm fishing so deep for bluegill instead of in the shallows for bluegill is I'm trying to get the bigger ones. That way I can get more weight. I'm gonna keep working this spot. I'm getting a lot lush build up. There we go. We got a bite. And here's our bluegill. Now I'm going to try one more time here and if I don't get anything within the next minute I'm going to move on. I think this time I'm going to do a back and forth movement. I got the slush. I think I'm going to go ahead and move on guys. We're running out of time, and we've got to go someplace a little better here. That's all I can say. I'll tell you where there is a good place. 
Now, last time I did really well there. I don't know what happened that time. But another really good place is right up here. Where that red dot is, where the other guy is. Okay, right about here. Let me make sure I'm in the center. There we go. As you can tell, it's as deep as you can go. There is not no sand to be seen. All right, let's go ahead and throw that down, and we'll drop it in. And let's see if we can't get us a big old fish. No, you are there. There you are. Another crucian carp. He's a pound this time. That's a little bit better. Okay, let's see if we can't get us a little bit deeper here. Come on, I want to get a big guy. Something right off the bottom that just... It's like a damn submarine. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Another carp. He wasn't as big as I'd hoped. Let's see if we can get us a bigger one. See, I wish they had tournaments for just carp, just bluegill, just flounder, just all the different species because I like doing it. That's fun. There are times when I just want to fish for one specific species. And it definitely tests your skills. I think I got a bite that time. It's just a touch. Yep, bluegill. Tell you what, guys, I'm going to switch this out for the Green Goblin. And we're going to see if there are any pike in there. Get a little heft to our catch. Because they like this a lot. That's what they go for. Time to move on, guys. I think it is time to move the heck on. Tell you what, we're going to do. We're going to go right over here and we're going to fish for some. fish for some brook trout. And catch a few of those. Now they're pretty shallow, so and they definitely like the up and down movement. And you might get a brown trout doing this, but there we go. There's the brook trout. my fishies. <laughs> I know my fishies. See, that's why I'm not, I just don't get why I'm not getting those black bullheads. It's, it doesn't make any sense. Now, I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but a Xander, it's not a name of a fish you hear too often here in the U.S., but what a Xander is, it's in the same family as the walleye. That's a bluegill. If you look at them, they look 
very much like them. But they're all part of the same family, the perch family. Uh, the perch family will consist of, of course, the yellow perch. And then you have the sauger, which is a little bit bigger. Xander is a Eurasian version. And then you have the walleye. And my understanding is that the Xanders are just as good of eating as a walleye. Actually, they're all good eating. I've had them all. So, that is why the walleye hasn't been put in this game because they're pretty much similar. I mean, not the same thing, but I mean, they're close enough, I guess, is what the situation is. So I have made some comments about that in the past and I do apologize for that because obviously that's not a species I'm as familiar with since I live in the U.S. So we're getting the bluegill. For some reason I'm not getting a crucian carp, not a crucian carp. A Xander, but I think we're gonna have to pull up stakes here, guys, because we are running out of time. And we need to run like Dickens. I see it. Don't you love those bridges and the little gazebo and. Isn't that cool? Just get look, get a better look at it here. Isn't that pretty? I mean, this is one of the be the prettiest maps I've seen. All right, let's see if we did it. Oh, we didn't even come close. Oh, that sucks. Well, you know, you don't win them all, guys. I was primarily focusing on one specific type, and looks like they were catching salmon. I was going for bluegill and crucial crucian carp. Yeah. Tell you what. Since that's the case, let's do it again. We'll do another one, same place, and we'll go with only balanced, morning, winter, 15 minutes. This time I'm going for salmon. Because I refuse to only get 75 coins, guys. I'm going to go right here. All right, let's get this thing drilled. Should I shouldn't need my big pole, but I am going to need a different lure. Let's trade in that for the salmon snake it's because it's best for salmon and we're gonna do a little bit of lure there and we're going deep going deep now these guys they're not really all that particular about the movement, just as long as it moves. Okay, I got a bite that time. Ah, <laughs> bluegill. Holy crap. Are you serious? Alright, let's bring this up just a little bit. We're gonna move, guys. 
I'm not liking this. Right here. Sometimes it pays to move around a little bit. I swear to God, if it's another bluegill. <laughs> what is the deal? I am really having bad luck here, guys. You know, sometimes that's just the way it is. Fishing, you could be the best fisherman on the planet. It all depends on the desires of the fish. Okay, we're going to go back and forth and see if that isn't what they want. There we go. That's what I was looking for, guys. There's my salmon. There's my salmon. Now we're in this, we're in this thing, we're in this thing now. I knew they were down there. I so was a little worried that that wasn't going to make it up, because this is a lighter line and a lighter rod. I'm like, oh great. <laughs> That's a, holy crap. Okay. Yep, I was afraid of that. There, I found them, guys. I found them. I found them. Guess what we're gonna do? I'm getting serious now. I don't know how big that sucker was, but he broke that line like it was nothing. Okay, whatever that was wasn't as big. Oh, it's an eel. Those are creepy looking fish. <laughs> I mean, they just are. Too snake-like. The eel? Come on. Darn near yanked me into the darn pond. I know you're down there. Okay, that was somewhat good size, whatever it was. Yep, salmon. Twer salmon. Nope. feel better if we got one more salmon. I think that would probably cinch it for us here. Then I would have been vindicated. <laughs> oh, 
I'll be honest, I don't lose this very often. That was kind of disappointing. Whatever that is, it's barely tapping again. These little bluegill, my gosh. I tell you, they are definitely here, and they will latch on to anything. And I mean anything. There we go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Check it out, guys. Look how slow it is. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Now that, my friends, is vindication. That's a fish. 10.73 pounds. I'd like to see them beat that. I'd like to see him beat that. I knew that was a good one. Let's see if we can't get another one here. Okay, I got one, but I don't think it's as big. But it's still another salmon. Jeez, that's a big fish. <laughs> He's a big fish. All right, guys. Let's. We got a little bit more time here. I know. Got plenty of time. Maybe pull one more out of there. Okay, we got us another one. Fairly decent sized. Yeah, this salmon snake is awesome for the salmon. They love it. Love it, love it, love it. You go deep and you will get them. It does cost a pretty penny, though. If I'm not mistaken, it was about 2,000 coin, but you will pull in. Whoa! Holy crap! Holy crap! Oh, I'm getting. I'm pushing it here, guys. <laughs> but this is a big fish. 10.54 pounds, guys. I think I beat that. There's nothing that can touch me now. Nothing. All right, let's go. We've got no time. If we run out of time, it'll be all for nothing. Think I won this time, guys? I think so. 31 pounds, uh huh. 31 pounds. Next guy is what, 7.71? .71? Yeah. Please. <laughs> Alright, guys. I hope you enjoyed that episode. So please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode and we'll take a look at the next map. I believe the next map on the list here is going to be Ice Lakes. And there's also this Corvus, I believe we were going to look at that too the next time. Actually, I don't think that's a new one. I don't think that's a new one. But anyway, we will be looking at Ice Lakes. And that's an interesting one. See, it's full of all these little lakes. Pretty cool. Anyway, guys, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>